Well, hello there, and Merry Christmas. I'm the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. What we do here is we take a look at a can of beer, a bottle of beer, sometimes a wine or a spirit might drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. We take a look at the labels. We read everything on the labels. We take a look at the artwork. We see what they're trying to sell us. We crack it open and see if it meets those expectations. First of all, though, all beer should be served at the correct temperature. Lagers between 37 and 47 degrees Fahrenheit. Ales between 50 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The good folks at Thermoworks sent me one of their lollipop thermometers. I use that to test the temperature of all of our beers. There is a link in the description box below if you are interested. Also, we always taste all of our beers in the same glassware. That way nobody has a leg up when it comes to clarity or aromatics. And speaking of aromatics and taste, most folks when they do a tasting, they will, they will take a look, they will sniff, uh, they will sip, and they will pontificate. Well, I will pontificate, but I will sip first. Why? I'll let wine expert Fred Dax explain it all to you. He does a lot better than I do. All right, what have we got today? As I say, uh, happy Christmas and all that kind of good stuff to everybody. We've got St. Bernardus Christmas Ale right here. Oh boy, uh, $5.99 at the beer barrel. And it's 9.8% alcohol by volume, 11.2 fluid ounces. And it is a strong Belgian beer, product of Belgium. Uh, however, the United States government warns me that I should not be a pregnant woman operating heavy machinery. Uh, not while I'm drinking this beer, anyway. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, and a whole bunch of states are telling me that I have to pay a, uh, or I can get a refund on my uh, can, so, uh, well, there you go. 11.2%, uh, uh, no, 11.2 fluid ounces, 9.8% alcohol by volume. There is the mandatory barcode there, and it says, Brewed and canned by Brewery St. Bernard N.V. Trappist Vague 23-8978 Vatu, W-A-T-O-U, Belgium. Imported by D&V International Incorporated, Jupiter, Florida. And uh, they have a www.specialtybeer.com. And that is about it. So, a Christmas ale, Belgian Christmas ale in a can. Well, happy, as I say, happy Christmas to you all, but uh, what am I expecting? Well, he's got a, chal he's got a chalice here, and it's got a, 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 a very amber beer. Uh, so I'm looking at a clear amber beer with a nice white head uh, that has a Christmas ale at 9.8 percent percent that's pretty much a semi a little high on their end but not too much so I'm, I'm looking for a rich malty ale that's what i'm looking for let's find out if we can get that and it's to, as far as a belgian ale it'll probably be in the yeast that there's a certain type of yeast that the belgians play with that is just too much fun and i think that'll probably be having something to do with the flavor as well let's see if it meets those expectations it's got the right color. It's certainly got the right. Oh yeah, that is a beautiful pour. <coughs> well, that's fantastic. That's a beautiful, oh yes, 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 yes. If there's anything that looks like, I would imagine a Christmas ale looking like. Okay, let's see here we got. 50, uh, 50 degrees, 50 point eight degrees Fahrenheit, so it is right on as far as an ale goes. It certainly looks the part. Now, let's see what kind of flavors we get. Uh, okay. Cheers.
Yes, I I took two sips. It's about 10 minutes before noon on a uh, Wednesday, and my taste buds, they don't wake up until the afternoon. Two o'clock is when I start my tastings, but today I started early. So they need to be woke. Well, they're woke now. However, <clears throat> let's see what their little olfactory friends have to say about this one. Reports nothing, sir. Sorry. Well, well, it's all right, fellas. Next time. So there's not much of an aroma to this, that's for sure. Let's see what the taste buds, uh, <coughs> now that they're woke, <laughs> have to say about that. That has got to be one of the fullest bodied beers I have had in a long time. Boy, this is beyond buxom. Wow. This is a real pachyderm. That's what this is. But it, it's a pleasant pachyderm, I'll tell you. It went, oh, and that alcohol just said hello. Mm. It warms me right up. Oh. If this is the if this is the Santa Claus that's on the on the can right there, boy, I tell you, if this is that Santa Claus, he's a happy dude. Thank you, Santa Claus. All right, yeah, wow. All right, well, so Peter, <laughs> distracted, weren't you? So does Saint Bernardus Christmas Ale meet expectations? Uh, it's it, wow, well, yes, it does. In fact, it exceeds expectations. Absolutely. Well, uh, if you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. A thumbs up would be great. Share us with your friends and a comment would be really appreciated. I'm the old growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations and a happy Christmas to you all. <laughs>